Today on what it looks like homemade edition, we are going to do something that is, is great. It's like a all time favorite of mine, chicken pot pie, homemade. I cannot wait to show it to you. It's gonna be a really simple recipe, simple ingredients. I hope you do make it. Please let me know if you made it because it is fantastic. Super flaky crust. Oh my God, just, just wait till you see the video. And of course, if you have already subscribed to the channel, I, I greatly, greatly appreciate it as always. If you have not had a, a chance to subscribe, you're new here. This is a new uh, thing we're doing. It's called What It Looks Like Homemade. This is the second video that I've made. The first one, I post a link to it right here. It was Italian sausage bell pepper pasta. Oh, that was delicious. I'll let you know how that tastes uh, and how simple that recipe was. So again, today we're gonna to show you how to make it homemade. We're gonna show you what it looks like, what it smells like, and what it tastes like, starting now. Wanna go to the store, wanna get some. Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some. The food on the box look good, don't it? Should you buy it, should you wait, should you jump on it? You wanna know if it's good, does it taste right? Wanna try before you buy it, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Wanna go to the store, wanna get some? Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some? What it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? This recipe is gonna be so simple, so easy. Homemade chicken pot pie, you can't beat it. Wait till you see all that we need. Now the recipe calls for carrots, uh, but you know, I really don't care for carrots, so we're gonna put those back. And grab some celery. That looks good. We're going to need some celery seed. Then we need some chicken broth. And I always prefer the low sodium one. And of course, you can't have chicken pot pie without the chicken breast. So we like to get that. Then we need some milk. Uh, that looks good. Then we need two nine inch pie crust. This is deep pastries, pie shells. And finally, we need a bag of baby sweet peas. Oh yeah. You want to go ahead and separate your two pie shell crust so that they can thaw out. That's really the first step that you need to do is get that separated so they can thaw because you don't want them frozen. Put this paper in here just to keep it from sticking. We need to preheat the oven to 425 degrees. For this step, we need to open up our chicken packet here so we can get it cut up. Now for this pot pie, we really only need to use one of these because they're a pretty big, healthy pieces of chicken. And look at that, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty thick right there. So we're just gonna use one of these. Let me go clean it up real quick and I'll come back and we'll cut it up. And so first thing I like to do is cut it in slits because this piece of chicken is pretty thick. So when you cut it in slits, or cut slits down the chicken, it makes it a little easier for you to cut it because it's so thick. And now I can just kind of start cutting it one by one. You see, and it cuts through pretty nice. And you need a, a really good sharp knife for this too, so it helps out a lot. There we go. Go almost done. 
good piece here. This is gonna be a lot of chicken for this chicken pot pie. That's why I said only this one piece is good. Don't need to have a ton of chicken in it. I mean, I guess you can if you want to, if you really, really love chicken. I'm just gonna cut those up. Nice size pieces here. And just kind of check and make sure you don't have any pieces that you may think are too big. And take them to the side like this. And then cut up all the way. Looks like a piece of fat. We don't want that in there. Don't want that piece in there. Yeah, I say we're doing pretty good. And definitely make sure you wash your hands before you go to the next step. Now this is the step where if you like carrots, you, you would also cut your carrots up. But since I don't eat carrots, we're just going to do the celery in here. So I'm just going to do two of these at a time. I think that should be good. What do you think? I think we'll do one more. No, I don't know about you, but I just love the way celery smells. It always smells so fresh. So you want to make sure you have good coverage of the celery. So that looks good. And we want to pour our chicken in here. Into our medium sized saucepan here. And what a lot of people do when they make this, they don't put any seasoning on their chicken. So, but I don't want to do that. So I want to use some Lowry seasoning salt, a little bit of garlic, because you want your chicken pot pie to have some flavor to it, right? You don't want it to just be plain with salt and pepper. So we're going to add a little bit of seasoning to it. Add some pepper in here. And that way when it cooks up, it's going to cook up nice and flavorful, which is what we want. Just kind of blend it in kind of well. All right, that's good. Next, we're gonna add our celery in here. Right along, right on top of the raw chicken. It's gonna all cook up together. Now, if you had carrots, you would add the carrots in on this step as well. Next, we're gonna add our chicken stock. You just wanna cover it up so that it, the chicken stock covers the meat and the vegetables in here. Now I'm gonna do about half of, maybe three-fourths of it with chicken stock, and then the rest I'm gonna add water. There we go. Now we're gonna let this simmer on medium heat for about 15 minutes or so. I almost forgot to add the peas in there, so add about a, a cup of sweet peas to it, and then let it simmer for about 15 minutes on medium-high. Next, we want to drain our chicken and vegetables here. All right, and then we're just gonna set that aside. We're gonna come back to it later. And if you notice on your stick of butter, it tells you exactly where one third cup of butter is. So that's perfect. All right, so now we have our one third cup of melted butter. We are going to add into that a third cup of flour. Put that in there like so. Mix it in, blend it up good. There we go. Then we are going to add a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of celery seed. Next, we will add one and three quarter cup of chicken stock. And two thirds cup of milk. We need to mix it all together. And then what we'll do is we'll let this simmer uh, on medium heat until it thickens like gravy. Take about 15 minutes or so. All right, this looks to be pretty thick, like gravy. I think we are ready to go. Yeah, it looks fantastic. 
All right, now you want to take your chicken and your vegetables. You want to spread it in here. Spread it kind of evenly around the, the bottom of the pie. I think that's gonna be plenty. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it all in there, make it a stuff. It's gonna be full of stuff in there, but that's all right. We don't care if it's oozing out the size. It should be nice and good. Let's make sure that's even the best you can. That's why I bought the deep dish pie crust. Now we wanna take our hot gravy mixture here and pour it right on top. Oh, look at that turned out nice, didn't it? Pour it all over. It needs to be about even with the top of the pie crust. Hopefully we can get all of this in there because I don't like it when the pot pies are kind of dry, so. But we don't want to make a huge mess either. <laughs> there we go. I think we're looking good. I think we are looking good. Ooh, that is gonna taste Bevine. Okay, I don't think I can get any more in there. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're about done. I got still got a little bit left in the pot. Let's see what we can do. Sorry, we'll be a little messy today. It's all right. Here we go. All right, now we want to take the top of our pie crust. And we're going to put it right on top there, and hopefully this is going to come off easily. And kind of tap it a little bit. I feel like it's trying to at least. Kind of running my fingers around the edge of it. There we go. There we go. Can move it around there. It's pretty soft, so you have to be careful. All right, next we want to take our fork. Just kind of squeeze the two edges together try to form somewhat of a seal to prevent anything from leaking out which of course it's not going to prevent it because it's already leaking out a little bit but that's to be expected don't worry about how it looks on the top it's going to turn out nice we're almost done here all right next you want to cut a slit in the middle so that it can be able to vent properly without that venting the pie crust is just gonna pop up in the air and it's not gonna be a pretty picture all right that should be it then you want to place the pie on top of a cookie sheet just so it can catch anything that oozes out of the sides that way you don't make a mess in your oven 30 to 35 minutes or until the pie is nice and golden brown. Let's cut us a piece and see how it looks. Ooh, man, look at that. Whoa, that looks so good. Let's get the rest of my pie out of here. Ooh. That looks fantastic. What it looks like is amazing. Oh, that looks so delicious. Look at that crust, how it's nice and golden brown. Look at the ample amount of gravy in there with the chicken just oozing out. Look at the sweet peas in there. Oh man, this looks fantastic. Look at, here's the piece that I cut, look at that the gravy look at that crust oh man this is gonna be fantastic fantastic I think this looks way better than uh, any of those frozen meals that you can get I did the Marie Collender video before I put a link to that video up so you can compare it but man I think this is gonna be way better than that one why because it's homemade on what it looks like what it smells like 
Oh man, it smells so good. This is a homemade chicken pot pie, and man, it doesn't get any better than this. It does not get better. Oh, that crust smells so good. And then what's funny is that when it was cooking, just even just the chicken and the vegetables by itself, it already made the house smell like a chicken pot pie. It actually smells like you're cooking like turkey and dressing for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fresh uh, celery. But oh man, it smells so good. Here we go. Oh my God. Mmm. This is so good. It is so fresh. That gravy. Oh, I got a burst of celery. My goodness, this is fantastic. Oh man. This is so good. This is way better. Way better than what you can buy at the store because that crust is super flaky. But the gravy and the chicken turned out, ah, uh, turned out perfect. And the flavor, make sure you season your chicken because I can taste the seasoning on it right now. And man, without that, I mean, it's, it's great either way, but having the seasoned chicken just adds so much more flavor to it. It makes it fantastic. And that, that crust, just the pie crust, I guess because it's a pie crust, it's really flaky and tender. Oh, it, this, this is fantastic. I mean, I could probably sit here and eat the whole meal right here in front of you because I do not want to stop eating. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, this, you would not be disappointed. Oh, and the thing is, when I was pouring it on top, remember I was like, oh man, this might be too much gravy. Nope, it's perfect. Just perfect. I'm so happy I made it. I'm so happy you came to watch this homemade edition of what it looks like. Chicken pot pie, oh my God. Fantastic. Let me know if you try it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so today. Why wait? Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the weekend. Go ahead and knock it out now. Don't procrastinate. And we'll see you next week on What It Looks Like. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. However, they may or may not have been harmed in the making of the contestant. But we had nothing to do with that. We promise, honestly, you can trust us. Hello.